Hi there, it's Brian from FinanceNerd.net. Um, I'm going to show you today how to pull stock price information, historical data for um, stocks from Yahoo Finance. So first thing you're going to do is open up a web browser, go to finance.yahoo.com and you'll just choose the symbol you want to look at. So we can look at um, any stock that you can you know that's publicly traded so let's look at um, Bank of America just for fun so you'll get a lot of information about Bank of America's stock um, you know you can there's lots of information on Yahoo fin Finance but what we're gonna look at is over here on historical prices so you'll click on this link and that will show you this table of, of price data so what we want to do is we're concerned with monthly observations and we're going to go back um, through let's say January of 2008 click get prices and it will give us this table what we're going to do is take this table and rather than just copy and try to paste this um, this mess into Excel. What we're going to go do, do is go down to this link and click download to spreadsheet. What will happen is we'll save this. I always like to save it the file name as the the stock symbol. And then what we do is we just open that and it will open in the form of a comma separated values file or CSV file. Um, go back to Excel and here we go. So we've got uh, the date open. Um, remember, we did monthly um, observations, so we've got the, the open for the month of June, the high during the month of June, the low during the month of June, the close for the month of June, and then we've got an adjusted close. And the adjusted close will factor in things like um, stock splits, reverse splits, um, dividends, um, adjustments, things like that. And we'll give you one nice um, series of of prices over time. So we've got a bunch of data here. Um, typically you'll be working in kind of a master spreadsheet and you'll you know open several of these CSV files and then copy and paste the data into the spreadsheet that you're working on. So usually what I'll do is I'll um, control shift and then down arrow, copy this and then I'll move it over into the spreadsheet, the master spreadsheet that I'm working in. So um, my convention is to just change the the column heading to the symbol that I'm that I'm working with. And I'll go back and also copy and paste the date information um, just to keep everything clean. So. Now I've got the dates and I've got the price information for Bank of America. Pretty simple. Another way to do this, same thing, is to go to the data tab and you have several options for getting external data from another program access, uh, from a website, from a text file, or from other sources. One way to do this is go to from web and it will actually pull up this little uh, web browser right in Excel and we'll go to the address finance.yahoo.com and there's some scripts problems on here so it's not a very robust browser but it gets the job done so we'll just type in BAC again <coughs> and we get this same view we'll go to historical prices back to 2008 for monthly observations and we get the same table so here what we need to do is you'll notice next to every table there's a little yellow arrow um, we're interested in this table so we'll select that yellow arrow when I click on import over here on the bottom right it will take all of that data and ask me where I want it I'd like it right there so hit OK and it will bring all of that data from the whole table that I had selected over. Um, just ask, I'll get rid of this 
asterisk here. Um, but you'll notice I get a lot, I get the dividend information um, that I didn't have before and it's just not as clean as as it was when I exported the CSV file and took the adjusted um, the adjusted close information. Um, so now I'll have to go and clean all that up. That, but you know, if you want to just stay exclusively in Excel and import the information over, you can do that. Um, personally, I, I like to export the CSV file and work from there. You'll notice um, we've got another issue where when I imported using the, the get uh, data from the web function, it goes back to December of 2008. Well, my other CSV data came back from January of 2008. And so in order to get all of the data, you'll see what happened. We'll go back to Yahoo Finance. Um, historical prices. What, ha what happens here is this table is too large for one page. And so if I were to just select this one table, it doesn't give me the information that's on the second page. So I would have to go through uh, methodically and get data for every page uh, on this table, which is obviously going to be a time-consuming process unless maybe you're, you know, you're only talking about you know, 20 observations or something. Um, so that's one reason why I prefer to use the CSV um, method that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So that's how you export data from, um, import data into Excel from Yahoo Finance.